Hey guys, it's Ken. Shh. Check out something up there. I'm gonna show you guys something. I just got out of my car, looked up, and I saw this guy looking down at me. Check him out. You can see him. I'm sure as soon as I move, he's eyeing me right now. He's right on that big branch right there. It's a beautiful bird. Beautiful falcon. Hanging out. Oh. talking to you. He's talking to me. He's looking right at me. Check him out. You guys see him? He's right. There's my big finger. Oh, there's my big finger. It's right there. Let's back out a little bit. Sorry about my massive finger in your face, sir. He's right there. I thought he was pretty special. Let's see if I can move around the car. I'm sure, as soon as I start moving, he's gonna. Oh, he spotted me! There he goes, he can take off, there he goes. Well, I thought that was a pretty special moment to share with you guys that cool bird perched up there looking down at me. Talking to you, or talking to me, talking to somebody, talking to someone out there in the wild blue yonder. Probably talking about me. Probably someone get out of my car and said, Oh, here comes that guy Ken who wanders around his neighborhood talking to himself like I'm doing right now. And he's probably squawking to his buddies back there going, You guys gotta come check this guy out. Maybe he's talking about something else. I don't know. What do birds talk about? If you were a bird, what would you like to talk about? What would you do if you were a bird? I think I would fly. I think most people would do that to take on the ability to fly, to soar up to the trees, kind of hang out for a little bit, just kind of check things out from a different perspective. I think that would be fun. But uh, what do you think that bird was saying? Not sure. He flew away. I couldn't ask him. I knew as soon as it started moving, he was going to probably take off because he usually starts over there above those trees, flies to our trees, goes over there, and ends up somewhere in our backyard. He's the guy I talked about earlier earlier in a couple of vlogs about him dropping food in my backyard. He'll uh, pick up a snake. I, I can't say specifically him. I've never actually caught him in the act, but I assume that it's him. I should never assume. You know, it happens when you assume, but I'm just figuring out it just makes sense that it's him or her. I couldn't tell if it was a, a mister or a madam, <laughs> madam bird. Are you dropping half-eaten squirrels and half-eaten snakes in my yard? It's happened. We found him before. In fact, there was a, a warning somebody gave to us. We first moved, in, moved into this house, and we all had our, we had our only one dog. We only, let me try that again. We first moved into the house, someone gave us a warning because we only had our one dog, Peanut, who was a little Jack Russell Terrier, and they said, be careful, the falcons or the hawks, the big birds will swoop down and pick up your dog and carry your dog off. So we were frightened to let Peanut out in the backyard by himself, knowing that these predators were swooping in and out of our neighborhood looking for things to eat. But that never happened. I can't imagine that would happen. I mean, yeah, Peanut was not a very big dog, but I can't imagine a bird picking him up. Picking her up, brother. Here's another friend of mine. Check it out. Oh, he, he went away. A few of my friends have shown you guys over the course of the year, those gigantic grasshoppers. They've all been, they've all gone. They've moved on to better places, but they'll be back in the spring, too. Well, if you watched my video from a couple months ago, I was in my backyard. They come back every year, and they grow to be ginormous bugs. You know they're all gone. So I think they are. I can't see them. 
So, nonetheless, happy uh, happy Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday, the last day for the current camp that I'm in. I took some pictures. I'm going to post them onto my Facebook page. If you're a Facebook follower, look for that here in the very near future. It's a gorgeous day. Nice and breezy. Nice summer night here in Central Florida. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for tuning in. All the kind of fun stuff. And on behalf of myself and that beautiful big winged creature, that falcon, I appreciate you guys watching. And I thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okie dokie. All right, see ya. Thanks again. Bye.